Hey guys, welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can start and save project templates in Logic that should and will really improve your workflow, I think. I use production templates for my projects because a lot of them um, are structurally the same. I'm using similar instrumentation and bus routing and effects that I've decided to kind of package them all into a template that I can reuse for every project and I save a lot of time because of that. This is what my production template looks like and I'll show you how we get to this point. Um, but let's, if you want to start a production template from scratch, you just have to start a new, uh, a new, pro new logic project. And so we can just close this down right now and we can open up any old software instrument and basically if we go into the session knowing we want to make a template we would just start an empty session and and write some stuff in to logic and then we will go up at the top here and then save as a template so if we save this project right now as a template it will open up um, the exact same to where uh, when we start a new project but we don't want to save this because it's kind of it's well it's nothing so what typically uh, let's go back to my template and uh, and we'll talk about it so loading my production template what I like to have in my production template is a structure here at the top using uh, using markers because most of my songs follow this structure obviously not set in the well, the same order all the time but more or less in this this structure i have my file um, browser open and usually it's under my bookmarks uh, tab or in my um, my uh, hard drive the important um, tracks i have here are i'm always using a reference track when i'm working in projects um, kind of looking at different sounds from other songs that I'd like to mimic or features in that song. So I usually have an MP3 or WAV file um, audio on this track. And uh, next track is really important for me, which is the beat, the drums. And so I have a drum machine, machine designer here, and that this is what drum um, machine or designer looks like. And I, uh, I always have this um, kick and snare just because I like this kick and snare a lot and I've only filled my drum machine designer with these two elements because I'm constantly going to my uh, my sounds here and then dragging samples into my drum machine designer and then designing the sound within drum machine designer. So if I wanted to like change this kick, I would go and you know maybe pitch it down or pitch it up or change the attack or you know, whatever. Um, but I would load in my samples and then go to my step sequencer and then build a beat from, from there. And I can quickly do that right away because I have my favorite kick and snare in there. Once I have the drum pattern in, I can just um, reload a new kick and a new snare sample based on my reference track and then just copy the, the step sequencer over and I'm good to go. So that's what I have for drums. Uh, and I have my bass, uh, I have my synths and my keys. And I have these loaded up with the right instruments. I have my trillion, trillion bass here. I have just an alchemy synth and I have like a deluxe modern electric piano, which I usually like to have on tracks as well. So uh, usually I will have multiple synths. So um, sometimes I'll do command D to open up new synths and then I would um, create a summing stack for this and then I can bust these out to their own synth synth bus but I don't and then I can name it like synth bus uh, but I don't start with the synth bus all the time just because I'm there's not all the time where I have more than um, uh, a few synths what I do always have in my templates is the drum bus if I open up my mixer here so you can see this drums bus and then you can load in any preset you have um, for your drums um, bus usually I have an EQ some distortion and then some more reverb on that bus 
and sometimes even some multiband compression and even more compression, lots of compression. So, uh, and then I have default set up these two reverbs, a small verb and then like a church or big reverb. And I'm always using those in every project. So they're just there and it saves me time to uh, whip those into shape because whenever I add like a new audio track when we're doing a session and I, you know, I can just go here quickly to my small verb and then add some small verb if I want some reverb, some church verb, I can add some big church on that. Um, you get the idea. Those are the, the things for me that I'm always using. So that's the question you need to ask yourself as you begin to work on more projects. What are the things you're constantly just um, having to build again and again in the same the same instance in every project? Put those into a, pro, uh, a project template and then save the template so you can start from that um, from every time. And I'm kind of, kind of going back to this every week or so thinking, oh, I should, you know, I should really, okay, set up the synth bus in my template because I'm using it more or a bass bus or, you know, you know, maybe the structure has changed. Maybe you want to do some routing dif different. So uh, at any time we just go to our um, save as. And so because our, this is our, we're actually in the production template, we can just save as a template again and we'll overwrite our old one. So here's our old one production template and we'll just, it will ask us if we want to overwrite it. And now we can shut this down. We can just start a new from template and we will, yeah, close this one. There's me recording this uh, video and I'm going to start, um, this is asking me, hey, what template do you want? Do you want the songwriting session or the production template? Let's start a, doing a production template song, and here we go. Now I'm gonna start a new song today, and I can save it as, you know, my new song. Sky's the limit to how far you wanna take your project templates. Feel free to subscribe, have a listen to some of my music. I'm curious to know what you think. Stick around, and I hope to see you in the next video.